In this video, I'm going to show you how to create your first sales funnel. Let's get started. All right. So to create your first sales funnel, you want to come over here to funnels. And let's create one by clicking on create. Let's give it a name. I'm going to call this my first funnel. So you can decide whether you want to build a funnel to build an audience, sell a product or run an evergreen webinar. So in this case, I'm just going to say uh, sell a product and I'm going to leave this uh, as US dollar. But if you click on this drop down, there's also other currencies that you can use. OK, great. So now I'm going to click on create. So when you first see this, sometimes you may be thinking, OK, so where do I get started and uh, what is happening over here? Well, it's very easy. If you are if you do need to set up any more steps, you can just click here on this plus button. And for this example, actually, I need a sales page. OK, so I'm going to click here on this drop down and choose my sales page. So there we go. So sales page. And then I'm going to say save. OK, great. So now that I have a sales page, so we want the sales page to be the first part of our landing page. So all you have to do is to drag it all the way to the top. And now you have our order form. Thank you in that order. Next, let's create a tag. So I'm going to come over here to contacts and click on tags. Click on add new tag. So I'm going to call this my first funnel. Or let's call this my first product. I'm going to hit save. So every time someone purchases our product from our funnel, they are going to be tagged. So that makes it easier for me to send emails out if I need to automate my email process. OK, so now that I've uh, that I have my uh, tag over here, I'm going to come back to my funnels here and let's design it. So at any point, if you want to design your funnel, this is where you would come. You can hover over it and then click on it. OK, great. So whenever you see a triangle here, it means that you don't have a page on it. So we now we need to select our page or our template. So what I'm going to go with is something very uh, basic. So let me go with this one here. I'm going to hit select. So on the extension here, I can call this uh, first product. And I'm also going to uh, name this first product. OK, now if you want to customize this page now, you can just click on edit page. OK, so this is where we would start adding all our content. So if you need to delete anything, you can just hover over here and click delete and then click OK. And I can even delete the whole thing here by just clicking on that trash can and saying OK and then getting rid of the complete section altogether. If you want to change the uh, section image, you can just click here on this gear icon on the settings. Come all the way down here and you can see we have an uh, we have our artboard. So we can upload our own image here by clicking on this little cloud item. So if I have any images in the cloud, they will show up here. But if you don't, you just have to click on select file and you can just choose a file from your computer. So I'm going to go with this one. Click on insert and you can see here that my image has been added. Very straightforward. Now let's customize our button. So over here on the button, if you click on this gear icon, uh, we can tell our button here to do specific things. So we want this to go to the next step, which is here the next uh, URL, which is great. But of course, you can customize it to do all these other things as well. So for now, I'm just going to hit save changes because I know now if I click or if someone clicks on this button, they're going to go to the next step. OK, so I'm going to exit out of here. Now that triangle is gone. Next on the order form here is where we can choose our order form. So let's say I choose this one here. I'm going to hit select. So now we need to add our price plan. So if I click on this plus button here, I can choose an existing uh, price plan or I can just create one from scratch. So this one here is a one shot and I've got quite a few here which I created. But if you want to create a brand new one, you can just click on create new one and then you can just give it a price here and then you can choose the price plan. In fact, you know what? Let's give it a name. So let's call this my first product or first product. So for the price plan, I'm just going to say one shot or 
one payment or single payment, whatever it is. And uh, this is our first product. So that's your description. And this is what shows on the invoice. And then you can select your price plan and say one shot, give it the amount. So let's say this is 197. And then you can just click on save. So now our first product now has been added here, which is great. Next, if you have a coupon code, you can add it over here. And for the resources, you can assign your resources right away. So for the first so the first thing I want to do here is to add a tag. So I'm going to click here on tag and then I'm going to choose the tag. Now, remember, we created our tag and our tag is called my first product. So as soon as someone purchases this product, they're going to get this tag, which says my first product. So now I'm just going to hit save. Let's do a quick preview and see what this looks like. So I'm going to click here on this eye icon and this is our page now. When I scroll down here, you can see our credit card information here is ready. We also have PayPal. And we have our price plan there. So at any point, if you wanted to customize this, all you have to do is to click over here. And you can go in and start customizing it. So for example, this is product name. We can change this to our product. So this is my first product. And that's about it. Hit save changes. And if there's any fields you need to get rid of, you can just go in here and uh, delete what you don't need. Like, for example, we don't need the phone number. So I can just go ahead and delete it like that. Save changes. OK, great. So now I'm just going to hit exit. So we can do the same with the thank you page. You can go into the thank you page here and also uh, choose a template first and then design it. So let's go with this one here. I'm going to select it. and save. If you want to customize it, you can just click here on this gear icon. So let's say you want to add an upsell to your sales funnel. Well, that is also quite easy. You can come over here, click a, on create a step. And uh, we can give this a name. So let's call this upsell. And then I'm going to choose the type. I'm going to come all the way down here. And here we go. We have our upsell. We also have our downsells and so on. So I'm going to click on upsell and save. And now we have our upsells, our upsell templates, which we can choose from. So let's say I go with this one here. So once we select this, we also have to add our products because when it comes to upsells, you need to make sure that you have more than one product, which you can then upsell to. If you want to do some down sales as well, you have to make sure you have at least three products, which the main product that you can upsell or downsell. So that is how this works. So adding all your resources, uh, this is where you can also add a tag. You can also add your price, your price plans. And this is pretty much the same as your order form. So where does the upsell go? Well, it goes just after the order form right there and then followed by the thank you page. So once everything is all set, you can just hit save. So everything is all set now. We can now click on view to view the funnel. And as you can see here, everything is looking great. And now if I say get a free quote, of course, you don't want to be, it doesn't have to be get a free quote. It could be buy now. Then they can come over here to the first product. The price is there. It's all set. And when someone purchases it, it's simple. They then get an upsell because we have an upsell page here. And if they choose not to take uh, the upsell offer, then it just, you know, uh, goes back to the original price. And pretty much that's it. Once they hit confirm payment, all is done. And pretty much that's your sales page.